Stranger kept staring at sleeping son, slips mom a note with cash. She knew something wasn't right. No one intently stares at you like that for nothing. She knew this man had something to say, and she bet it wasn't going to be pleasant. Her son demanded so much attention that she didn't notice when he finally rose from his seat and headed straight for her. He was carrying something that would impact her world forever. 23-year-old Sammy Welch and her 3-year-old son had just boarded the second train of their six-hour journey. They were going back home to Plymouth after visiting her parents when something unexpected happened. Sammy is a single mother so she was used to the attention of being both parents sometimes brought but nothing could have prepared her for this. With the heavy day of travel, her son was beginning to get tired and cranky. Sammy had her work cut out for her as she did her best to get him to sleep and behave. But Sammy was also exhausted. She was running around all weekend, tending to her son as she usually does but was also making sure she spent quality time with her family. Now, she was already thinking about work tomorrow and arranging a babysitter. Sammy was struggling to stay happy and hide her exhaustion from her son. She never wanted him to feel her stress or to make him feel like he was the cause of it. She loved him dearly. Although she hid it well from her little boy, someone else would see right through her facade and use it as an excuse to comment on her parenting skills. When Sammy first started to get a little upset, she appeased him with his favorite snack. She knew this was just the calm before the possible storm and it was only the start of their train journey. It was when her son fell asleep, that she first felt eyes watching her and her son. She turned around. She was right. A man was looking directly at her. She could feel his judging eyes burn her back as he watched how she would handle her young boy in public. The man looked at her without a smile. He wore glasses and a hat and looked rather dissatisfied with something. It was Sammy's worst nightmare come true. She was stuck in an enclosed space with prying, judgmental eyes as she did her best to keep her son from crying and causing a racket to everyone else. She ignored the man that continued to stare at her and her boy. She imagined that he was telepathically threatening her to move elsewhere. Then it got much much worse. After Sammy's son finished his nap, he needed something else to keep him entertained so Sammy got out a pack of cards and started to teach him card games. Her son laughed and clapped as they played and she often had to tell him to quieten down and be mindful of the other people on the train. But for one man, it was too late. He had seen and heard enough. Sammy knew something was about to go down. No one constantly stares like that at you for nothing. She knew the man in the hat and glasses had something to say. She was so wrapped up in her son that she didn't notice when he finally rose from his seat and headed straight for her. Before the man got up off his seat, he grabbed a pen and paper from his briefcase and quickly scribbled down his thoughts. He tucked the pen away and folded the piece of paper. He carried it in his hand as he made his way over to Sammy, and then to the exit door of the train. His stop was next. As he passed Sammy, he tapped her on the shoulder. Surprised, Sammy turned to see the same man that was staring at her earlier stand over her. He was tall and looked older now that he was up close. She braced herself for what he would say to her. She still had the feeling that he was judging her. He looked at the boy and then back to Sammy. I think you dropped something, he said as he handed her the piece of paper. Confused, Sammy took the piece of paper that he was shoving into her hand. She watched as he exited the train and then unfolded what was in her hand. Inside the paper were a $5 bill and a note that read, have a drink on me. You are a credit to your generation, polite and teaching the little boy good manners. On the back read, P.S. I have a daughter your age. Someone did the same for her once. Hope when she has children she is as good a mother as you. Sammy was so overwhelmed by this kind gesture that it took all she had not to break down in tears right then and there. She received a note of encouragement just when she needed it most. But who was this man, after? Posting her story online, Sammy was asked to appear on Good Morning Britain. The nation rallied to find the mysterious man that gifted her with his kind message and note she'd never forget. Sammy was desperate to find him and thank him for how he made her feel in a moment of complete exhaustion. Turns out, she wouldn't have to wait long. Just a few days after her TV appearance, 50-year-old Ken Saunders reached out to her after seeing their story in a local newspaper. He was just as taken back that his simple act of kindness had such a profound impact on the young single mom. 
They were able to meet and as it turns out, Saunders is someone who just enjoys performing good deeds, especially to those deserving.